Welcome to another episode of Outside the Ring. I'm your host, Lexi Nair. And on today's episode, we have the native beast, Nyla Rose. Nyla, thank you for being here today. Lexi Nair. <laughs> it's been a minute, but I, I think you're forgetting something. One of the, the biggest crowning achievements of my career. Hello, second ever women's world champion. Let's, let's try that again. Here you go. Try it again, sugar bumps. Let's go. to another episode of Outside the Ring. I'm your host, Lexi Nair, and on today's episode, I have the second ever women's world champion, the native beast, Nyla Rose. Yeah. <sighs> that was Are you an early riser or a night owl? This business is kind of wacky. You kind of have to be both. So whatever the, the merge of being a night owl and an early riser, that's, that's where I am. That's where a lot of us are. What's your favorite drink? What time of day is it? What are we talking? Daytime. Daytime? Probably an iced coffee. What's your favorite drink? My favorite drink? Rum. White rum, specifically. Uh, Malibu, quite frankly. What is your must-have beauty product? Ooh, must-have beauty product. There are a lot of good ones. There are a lot of good ones. Eyeliner, pretty versatile. You know, especially in the now, now times we're living in. Gotta wear the mask, everybody's, everybody's living in this. You, you can punch it up, make it more dramatic. Use it, fill in your eyebrows. Eyeliner all the way, 100%. What video game have you spent the most time playing? I would probably say Skyrim. Final answer. That's the final answer, yeah. Or Tetris. Or uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, that's another good one. Pretty much any puzzle game, um, really, you could just jump in and out of that. A lot of the uh, games on Xbox Arcade, those are pretty fun as well. If you could trade places with one person for a day, who would it be? Why, why would I want to do that? I'm awesome. Have you seen my life? What is one misconception about you? One misconception? Everybody thinks I'm angry all the time. I don't understand why everybody thinks I'm so angry. I'm not. I'm really chill. Um, if you had one superpower, what would it be? Something along the lines of metamorphosis. Kind of like that Mystique. Is a good one. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Then I could steal your job and I have my own show. How would you describe yourself in three words? I'm awesome. What was the first concert you ever went to? It's going to be a fun one. You're probably not going to guess. Uh, Kiss. Unless you count the Ninja Turtles pizza party, that was that was probably my first concert. That's pretty cool. Leonardo threw me a pizza. What's your favorite movie? Probably the 91 remake of Night of the Living Dead. A uh, little bit, you know, it's a little bit out there, a little bit crazy, a little zany. A little bit on the serious side. It's a movie called Soldier's Girl. Uh, it's, it's more of a drama, a little straightforward seriousness. It's my other favorite movie. What was the last show you binge watched? Lexi, it's gonna stay between you and me. Don't tell nobody. All right, I like anime. It's pretty fun. It's good, good stories. Captivating characters. Binge watch a little bit of uh, Hunter x Hunter. Some people call it Hunter x Hunter. I got hooked instantly. I've, I've watched like five seasons. Do you have any nicknames? Um, let's see, uh, The Native Beast, obviously. Yeah. We know that one. Greatest women's wrestler in AEW. A lot of people call me that. Let's see, the former women's world champion. That's one of my favorite nicknames. The uh, Casino Battle Royale winner. Uh, that, was, that was a fun nickname. Um, didn't last very long. We only did it one time. Maybe we'll do it again. People start using that again. The hottest body. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one. Who do you look towards when you're in need of some motivation? When I'm in need of some motivation, um, I look to the one person that I can always count on. Uh, someone who just is really always there for me. Someone who, quite frankly, picks me up in, in, in times of need is myself. I go and look in the mirror and I say, hey, you, you, yeah, you. Hey, hot stuff. Chin up, chin up, kiddo. Get out there and do the damn thing. And then, and then the world is all right. This is always a super fun one. Who is your celebrity crush? Idris Elba, forever crush. Forever crush, that's daddy right there. Uh, let's see, I'm, I'm, cat, I'm back on my Kat Dennings. Back on my Kat Dennings mood right now. She's, she's being a little bit everywhere, so it's kind of like, I forget about you. What's up, girl? How you doing? What is your biggest strength? Biggest strength? Um, being able to just kind of shrug it off. There's a lot of haters out there. Hate gives me strength. Best revenge is to live well. And I think I'm doing a damn good job of that. 
On that note, what is your biggest weakness? Chocolate, goes right to my thighs. So I know you spent a lot of time in Japan. What was your favorite food to order while you were there and can you order it in Japanese? Yes, uh, curry. The curry, the, I, I fell in love with curry. I uh, would eat it all the time. Um, specifically the, the pork cutlet, katsu, katsu curry. Uh, that and probably the corn soup. Can you do any impressions? First impression. No That's Samuel L. Jackson. Next impression, Tony Khan. No That's with him when I tell him I'm gonna put him or anybody else through a table if they get in my way. He says that to me. He says, okay, watch this, watch this, watch this. Uh, Cody Rhodes. No That's when I say, hey, Cody, I got an idea. He says that and it, it is wild. He didn't let me do anything. What is your favorite holiday? Halloween. I. I quite frankly, celebrate it on every holiday. I figure out how to work it in. Honestly, we just leave the tree, we, we leave the tree up all year round at Christmas and we just decorate it for every holiday. And usually there's a skull on there somewhere, put bats on it, something. St. Patrick's, put bats on it. Valentine's, you know, skulls, whatever. So we, we incorporate Halloween into everything. What is one moment from your past you wish you could relive? Walking out in front of the crowd for the very first time was one of the coolest things I've ever done. The energy in the place, like our, we have really good fans, you know? They get on my nerves a lot of times, but at the end of the day, some of them are kind of all right. What is one thing people don't know about you that they'd be surprised to find out? I was a straight A student in school. And there's no way you can fact check that, so that is now a true statement. And I've also uh, gone to optometry school, so I am better than Britt Baker, who is just a dentist. Well, that concludes our interview. Nyla, it's been great. Thank you for coming here, and I will catch you guys next week.